Hi everyone. Welcome to my channel. So in this tutorial video, you will learn five amazing PowerPoint hacks that no one tells you about. So whether you are a beginner or an advanced level PowerPoint user, these tricks will help you save time and will also help you create some really effective presentations. So without any further delay, let's begin. Coming to the first trick, filled map using charts. Well, we often need to use map in our presentations, right? And we straight away go to Google and start searching for that particular map. Did you know that we can actually create a map in PowerPoint using data in a table? Let me show you how. So go to the Insert tab, click on Chart, and you will see an option called Map. Click on Map option, and just click on OK. You will see a map which has certain countries written in an Excel sheet. All you have to do is decide which paths do you want to keep, or you can actually edit them and create a new thing. Let me show you. So I'm going to delete a few of these countries. In fact, let's just keep India and see how it works. And you've got yourself an India map. I'm going to just cut and paste it in the first lane so that I can create more. Now you can also change India to let's say cities or states. I'm adding more and more cities to show you how it will reflect in the map. So now each state that you enter here will actually reflect on the map itself. You can see the color coming on the map, right? So generally we struggle with these maps because we start searching them on different websites. This is the easiest way to get maps and you can add as many states as you would like. Let's add a few more. And now I'm going to delete a few and let's see what if we put other countries, like I'm adding Russia right now. You can put Mexico, Australia, any other country and you will see the map of that particular one. So that's how easy it is to insert any map in PowerPoint. Coming to the second hack, compress media. Well, we all like to make our presentations more interactive using videos and audios and GIFs, right? But the moment you add a video, the presentations become much heavier. So this is the trick that you could use to compress your videos whenever you're inserting them in your presentation. Let me show you how. So I'm going to go to insert, go to video and choose a video that I already have in my system. So I'm choosing this one, which you see is around 300 MB. a background video as you can see. Now we are going to reduce the size of this video using this trick. Go to file, click on info. You will see the option of compress media which says media size and performance. So right now it says media file is 371 MB. I'm going to go to standard format which is the lowest version and we will wait for the size to reduce. So initial size as you see is 371. It has actually saved 367 MB. That means your video is only 3.1 MB right now. As you can see over here, media file is 3.1 MB. Let's see. Let me show you how this video plays in full screen. So the quality is still good since it's a background video. So that's how you can reduce size of any video using this trick. In this third trick, we are going to learn how to create perfect shapes and lines without having to worry about the aspect ratio. So you just have to press a button and whichever shape you try to increase or decrease the size of will automatically increase or decrease in a particular aspect ratio. Let me show you how. So I'm going to insert a basic line, straight line over here. And another shape, a basic circular shape. You will see the aspect ratio is not same. A circle is supposed to have equal radius, right? But you can see in the 
window of dimensions the size vary also this line if you see is not straight now let me show you how you can actually create a circle using this trick click shift and increase the size of the circle or draw the circle and it will always always have the same dimensions as you can see on the top so the aspect ratio which means is 1 is to 1 all you need to do is press shift and then draw the shape I'm going to draw a basic square shape but whenever you're drawing it's never the same in terms of the aspect ratio the dimension as you see is not equal which is supposed to be in, in a square shape now I'm going to click on shape choose the same shape press shift and draw the square now no matter how much you increase or decrease the size the aspect ratio will always stay same you don't have to lock it you don't have to fix it all you have to do is press shift same thing for line if you want to draw a straight line without having to worry about how it's going just click on shift and draw a line it will always be straight whether you're drawing a vertical line or a horizontal one so even if you try it would never be a crooked or tilted line it will always be straight as you can see so that's the magic of this trick and it will always help you save time as you don't have to worry about the aspect ratio locking it or going to the format shape or any of that i'm also going to draw another shape it's basically a teardrop shape as you can see but it does not look fine right it looks stretched as you can see in the aspect ratio now i'm going to press shift and draw the same shape and you can easily see the difference the aspect ratio makes a huge difference in such shapes so that's how easy this trick is coming to the fourth hack stock images and cutouts well we all know powerpoint has some inbuilt icons which we use all the time but did you know that in 2020 microsoft added stock images and cutouts to powerpoint for office 365 it's available under insert tab let me show you how to access it go to insert tab click on pictures instead of going to this device click on stock images the moment you click on it you will see thousands of stock images which PowerPoint has for you and the quality is just amazing. You can also type the keyword to find the picture you are looking for. For example, I am putting this picture of team on my slide to show you the quality that PowerPoint offers. Let's make this full screen. And look at this. How beautiful is the image, right? Let me show you once again. I'm going to click on stock images and you will see all these categories that PowerPoint has which you can choose from or you can just type the keyword. Now you have icons next to images and again the 365 version has a lot of icon but we also have beautiful cutouts that you can use. These days especially we like to create stories so we need characters etc. So this is a perfect way to get cutouts in PowerPoint. You don't have to google anything you don't have to do research all you have to do is go on insert click on picture stock images and cut out people also you have cutouts of indian people as well not just western people so that can really help you with your presentation like i am putting an indian woman's cutout in the presentation right now so you can choose the cutout that works for your presentation and you'll be good to go. You don't have to download anything. Coming to the final hack, selection pane and layers. Well, this is one hack that even the most experienced PowerPoint users are not aware of. This hack can be used when you have slides that have multiple overlapping elements. Let me show you what I'm talking about and how to use it. So let's look at this slide. It has four elements, three shapes and a title. All you have to do is go on home, click on select and you will see the option of selection pane. So the moment you click on it, on right hand you will see all the four names of all the four elements that we have on the slide. You can customize the name like I'm doing right now. I'm just putting the color along with the shape, green triangle, yellow oval and blue square so that I know what is what. Now, let me show you the magic. Let's say that you have to change something in shapes. You can actually make things appear, disappear by just click off this eye sign that you see. It's actually a Photoshop feature. So if I click on the eye sign, you will see that the things are disappearing. If I click back again, the things will come back. So especially when you have multiple elements on a slide and you have to make changes, sometimes it gets difficult to 
select one particular element. This way you can actually hide rest of the elements and only work on that one element that you want to. I'm going to show you another example. Now if you look at this one, you will on the right hand side see all the names. Now I want to bring the text box and the line on the front. But if I send it to back, this goes entire way to back, which I don't want. So rather than going through the drill of send to back, I can simply just click on it and make that rectangular box disappear. Now I can bring these to front and just click on the eye for this to come back and I'm done. I'm going to do the same thing again with the next one. Make the box disappear, bring both the elements to front and now click on the eye and the box is back. Also, if you want to do something on, let's say, the background of the slide, the picture, you can actually make everything disappear as well. You can just click on all, keep the picture with you, go to colors. Let's say we want to make it brighter or you want to make it black and white. You can do either. Let's make it black and white. And now I can just do show all. And I'm good to go. I can remove the picture by just click of a button. So whenever you have multiple elements, this trick works really well. It's actually a Photoshop trick that PowerPoint introduced and it's really, really helpful. So I hope that you enjoyed watching these hacks. If you did, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Let me know in the comments if you want me to make video on any particular topic in PowerPoint and I will surely make one. Thank you so much for watching my channel. I'll see you in the next one.